in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. This morning we celebrate the Mass of Immaculate Conception. We pray through this Mass for all the pilgrims, for all the petitions presented on this altar. We also pray for Anagalo's family, Agomo's family, Ezocha's family, and for all that ask for our prayers. Praying that Almighty God may listen to the prayer of our hearts. For us to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I have blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, Israel, come back to the Lord your God. Your iniquity was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to the land, Lord. Say to him, take all iniquity away so that we may have happiness again and offer you our words of praise. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses anymore or say, our God, to what our own hand have made. For you are the one in whom orphans find compassion. I will heal their disloyalty, I will have them with all my heart, for my anger has turned from them. I will fall like dew on Israel. I shall bloom like the lily and thrust out roots like the poplar. His shoot will spread far. He will have the beauty of the olive and the fragments of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow corn that flourishes. They will cultivate vines and renowned as the wine of Hebron. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore? When it is I who hear his prayer and care for him. I'm like a cypress, evergreen. All your fruitfulness comes from me. Let the wise man understand these words. Let the intelligent man grasp their meaning. For the ways of the Lord are straight, and virtuous men walk in them, but sinners stumble. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
My mouth shall declare your praise. My, My mouth shall, shall declare your praise. praise. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, watch me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. My, my mouth shall, shall declare your praise. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. My, my heart shall, shall declare your, your praise. A pure heart created for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from, my pres from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. My, my mouth shall, shall declare your praise. Give me again the joy of, my, of your help, with a spirit of favor sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. My mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, alleluia. Word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that have been brought to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be cunning as serpent and yet as harmless as doves. Beware of men. They will hand you over to Sahendrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about what you speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes because it is not you who will be speaking. The spirit of my father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but the man who stands fame to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the town of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel of Matthew was written or was addressed to the early church, the Jewish early church. It was written to encourage them in the time of persecution, in their difficult moment. The evangelist tells them, and he tells us today, that Jesus did not promise us a stress-free journey, but he assured us of success and victory if we persevere to the end. Pain will come because of the name of Christ. We are going to experience pains 
we are going to experience persecution and difficulties, but that if we persevere to the end, that we are going to be victorious. For them, many of them, when persecution began as they accepted Christ and became his disciples, many of them lost their properties. Many of them were persecuted and were disowned. Many of them were ostracized. But evangelists told them that Christ said that if they persevere to the end, that they shall wear the crown. And what they pass through, we are passing through at the moment, the Christians all over the world, especially from the axis that I came from, Nigeria. The Christians are passing through persecution, killings, and so many other things happening against the Christians because of the name of Christ. But Christ assures us that because of his name, we are going to pass through pain. But if we persevere to the end, that we shall wear the crown. I may not know the pain you are passing through because of your faith. I may not know what you are undergoing at the moment because you believe in Christ. Maybe in the office where you work, maybe in your marriage, maybe wherever you find yourself. Because you profess the name of Christ, people hate you, people are persecuting you. Jesus assures us today that if you persevere to the end, that you are going to wear the crown, that you are going to be celebrated, that heaven shall be your reward. So as we journey through this world, let us not give up our hope. Let us not give up our faith. Let us persevere unto the end, for the crown is waiting for us. May the good Lord bless his words in our hearts and grant us his saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with the Lord, the Father Almighty. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings to the Lord praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to 
right, and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you gave the Blessed Virgin Mary a wise and obedient heart that she might perfectly carry out your will. A new and gentle heart in which you were, you were well pleased and in which you inscribed the law of the new covenant. You gave her an undivided and pure heart that she might be worthy to be the virgin mother of your son and to rejoice to see you forever. You gave her a steadfast and watchful heart so that she could endure without fear the sword of sorrow and await, and await in the faith the resurrection of her son. With the whole company of the angels, we sing your praises in their canticle of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew of all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body we should be giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That we blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your way be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and glory are yours, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. To receive the Holy Communion, we must all keep a, a safe distance. Communion shall be received in the hand only, please.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the tr true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is through God and through man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. 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 Amen.